given that the equation of the path traveled by traversed by the ball headed by the footballer is y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c which is a parabola where x lies between 0 and 14 and a b c are real numbers and a is not equals to 0 so with respect to, to the x y coordinate system in the vertical plane and the ball is passing through the points 2 comma 15 4 comma 25 and 14 comma 15 and we need to determine the values of a b and c solving the system of linear equations in a b and c using matrix method also find the equation of the path traversed by the ball it's given say this is x-axis say it's y-axis the path traversed by the ball is the parabola equation and a is not equals to 0 so we can say this is how the ball can travel and it passes through the points 2 comma 15 let's say this point is 2 2 comma 15 say this point is a and 4 comma 25 say this point is b 4 comma 25 and the next one 14 comma 15 so this point is c 14 comma 15 and the equation is y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c so when x is equal to 2 so we can add y is equal to a into 2 square plus b into 2 plus c so that is y is equal to 4a plus 2b plus c so y value is 15 so we can write so 15 is equal to so 4a plus we can write 4a plus 2b plus c is equal to 15 is one equation similarly when x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 25 so we can write 25 is equal to a into 4 square plus b into 4 plus c so which gives the equation 16 times a plus 4b plus c is equal to 25 and next 14 comma 15 when x is equal to 14 and y is equal to 15 so we can add 15 is equal to a into 14 square plus b into 14 plus c which implies so 196 times a plus 14 times of b plus c is equal to 15 so these are the three equations we got it so representing the three equations in matrix form as so we can write 4 2 and 1 16 4 and 1 196 14 and 1 here the variables are here a b c abc matrix is equal to constants are 15 25 and 15 so which is in the form of ax is equal to b and to solve it we need to apply x is equal to a inverse into b mat inverse method To verify whether matrix inversion method is applicable or not, we need to identify or we need to make sure that determinant A is not equals to 0. So let's find the determinant of A. 
it's a con coefficient matrix so we have 4 2 and 1 16 4 and 1 196 14 and 1 let's find the determinant Four times of four ones are four four minus fourteen minus two times of sixteen ones are sixteen minus one ninety six and again plus one times of sixteen into fourteen so we can say two hundred and twenty four minus one ninety six into four so we can say seven eighty four which is equal to 4 times of minus 10 minus 2 times of we can say 1 minus 180 plus 1 times of 224 minus 784 is minus 7560 which is equal to minus 40 minus 40 and again plus 360 minus 560 so 360 minus 560 is minus 200 and here it is minus 2 240 we can say minus 240 which is not equals to 0 and hence determinant is not equals to 0 means matrix inversion method is applicable means a inverse exists now let's find the inverse of the matrix a we have a inverse is equal to 1 by determinant of a into adjoint of a so let's find the adjoint of a since a is equal to 4 2 and 1 16 4 and 1 196 14 and 1 so let's use the shortcut method to find that joint start taking from the second row second element second row second column element start writing here 4 and then 1 and then again 16 from the same row second row and then ending again end with 4 so writing 4 1 16 4 and coming to the next row so start from the second column element that is 14 1 and again 196 and again end up with 14 and coming to the next row first row so start with the second column element that is 2 same process 2 1 and again 4 and again end with 2 and again this process end with again the second row so 4 1 16 and 4 now let's find the determinants here Let's find the determinants and write in transpose way because adjoint of A is nothing but transpose of the cofactors matrix. So these are cofactors 4 into 1, 4 minus 14 ones are 14. So 4 minus 14 is negative 10. So let us write here minus 10. And here 14 ones are 14 minus 2 ones are 2. 14 minus 2 is 12 instead of writing column we have to write in the row wise so it is 12 and again 2 ones are 2 minus 4 ones are 4 2 minus 4 is negative 2 so i can write here negative 2 and now coming to the second row here we need to perform the second column here so 196 minus 16 so it's 180 so i can write 180 here and next one fours are four minus one ninety six that is minus one ninety two. So let us write minus one ninety two and here sixteen minus four is twelve. So second row completed and third row sixteen into fourteen minus one ninety six into four. This calculation we can get minus five hundred and sixty. And here one ninety six into two minus 14 into 4 the calculation comes to 
336 and 4 4 is 16 minus 32 it's a negative 16 so we got direct adjoint of a matrix no need to do transpose we are done already transformation and then a inverse is equal to 1 by determinant of a is minus 240 into adjoint of this matrix is minus 10 12 and minus 2 180 minus 192 and 12 and minus 560 336 and negative 16 okay now we have x is equal to a inverse into b let us do it so we have x is equal to a inverse into b so that is a b c variable matrix which is equal to a inverse is minus 1 by 240 times minus 10 2 and sorry 12 and minus 2 and 180 and minus 192 and 12 minus 560 336 and again negative 16 and the constant matrix is 15 25 and 15 so here we can take 2 as a common and here 5 as a common so that we can write minus 1 into 2 into 5 divided by 240 so when 2 is taken common from the first matrix we can write minus 5 and 6 and minus 1 and here 90 and minus 96 and 6 and again the next minus 280 and 168 and minus 8 so multiplied with the constant matrix when 5 is taken common so 3 5 and 3 so let's multiply here so minus 10 divided by 240 so we can add minus 5 into 3 is negative 15 plus 6 5 is a 30 and minus 1 into 3 is minus 3 and 90 into 3 this is 270 and minus 96 into 5 it's a 480 and 6 3s are 18 and again here minus 283 3s are minus 840 and 168 5s are again 840 and minus 24 that is minus 1 by 24 times so of calculation so we'll be getting 12 and here it comes 192 minus 192 and here it is minus 24 so which comes here 12 upon 24 minus 1 by 2 and 192 divided by 24 is 8 so minus minus gets cancelled so it is 8 and here it comes 1 so here we can conclude that therefore the value of a is equal to minus 1 by 2 and the value of b is 8 and the value of c is 1 and hence we can give the parabolic path that is path traversed by the footballer y is equal to minus 1 by 2 x square plus 8x plus 1 is the answer okay